continuing our coverage here from the Serious Games Showcase Challenge Pavilion. I'm here with the Dr. Dev, and the company is Innovation in Learning, Inc. Tell me a little bit about the company and, and how long you've been in business. We've, Innovation in Learning has been in business for just under a year now doing this simulation. And uh, we came out of Stanford University where we were doing research in medical simulation. Oh, that's excellent. So, now, so this is the first year that you've been here to ITSEC. It's indeed, it's the first year. We're very excited to be here. Oh, that's great. Well, we happen to, uh, the crowds have, have not quite gathered, you know, around all of these serious games yet, so we're glad that you've, and are appreciative of you taking a couple moments. Can we take a look at your game? Absolutely. Let's do a demo. Okay. Well, if you would, Dr. Dev, please just walk me through your game. All right. What we're looking at is a virtual emergency department. It's part of a virtual hospital. It's a multi-user game to teach medical management as well as team care. And uh, it's meant to be really easy to use. So we have a patient here, and uh, we can get the electronic medical record uh, by clicking on them. This is a safety measure to make sure that we're looking at the right patient. You know, medical errors are a problem. Um, we can uh, look at their uh, monitor to see their vital signs, heart rate. Really not bad at all right now. I think she's not very sick. Um, just to show you that everything is interactive, I'm just going to show you the uh, items so you can see there's IV stands, gas machines, etc. And if I click on an IV stand, I can get fluid, I can get saline on the fluid, I can sure. choose what to give. And it says, okay, I'm administering, and right there you see a bag has got hung. And as it gets finished, it will actually go down to half and three quarters. It'll tell you when it's done. Sure. What is the, so far, what has the feedback been of people that are in the field that have tried it? People love it. They really love it. Um, they want more. We don't have enough patients for them. We just have one trauma patient here, and we've got a number of different um, patients with infection, because infection in the hospital is a real problem these days. So uh, you can see that this patient is actually having convulsions. Mm. You know, I, I don't know why he's having con convulsions. So part of it is doing the examination. So we can do a lot of lab report, lab tests, for example. You can see we can order various different lab tests. For example, what is his white blood count? Um, it's dropping. I just checked it earlier. It was in the 4,000. It's going down fast. So something's badly wrong. So yeah. this is not just students. This is managers, hospital managers as well? It's both for people who want to learn medicine, which means nurses, doctors, EMTs, but it's also for managers who want to learn how to arrange, how to develop teamwork around these uh, patients and in these areas. So communication, teamwork, leadership, these are all taught around the, uh, around the bed. So then the patient becomes less important. It's more about how you keep things going correctly. Well, Dr. Dev, that is an excellent demo. Very, very interactive. I love it. So I noticed that here uh, in the Challenge Pavilion, people are going to come through and, and vote. So you're going to be very busy. Oh, I hope so. Please tell them to vote for us. Plenty Spice. <laughs> That's great. So we'll continue our coverage here from the Serious Games Challenge uh, Showcase area. More to come here from ITSEC 2010.